Dr. Moist Watkins. What is wrong with your weird ass, dog? I'm not talking about your ass, pause, but what the hell is wrong with you? Like, I think this YouTube shit or this this follower, subscriber thing is really getting to y'all's head because I don't get how you can attack a man give your opinion about him your negative opinion about him your sick opinion about him to other people on bigger platforms where people all over the world can see you can diagnose this man mentally you can compare him to a psycho like Jim Jones I'm not talking about Jim Jones the rapper you can align him with someone like 6 9 and then when this same man, Kwame Brown, attacks you or responds to you after what you said about him first, oh, now you're being unfairly attacked? When he knows nothing about you. So he's a little boy, huh? He's a little boy because you feel unfairly attacked. Although, well, even though you attacked him first, the whole world saw that you did it. And now, and that's the, this is the thing that disturbs me about you. You don't even remember that you came after this man first. You don't even remember that you was running your mouth about him first. Trying to defend the go along, get along gang. Like Charlemagne, the lesser charge. CB4. Becky with the good hair. Jamel Hill. Come on, man. What is wrong with you clowns out here? How in the world are you a doctor? Because maybe this, this doctor thing is getting to your head, your ego. Because you think you can say what you want to say about anybody and can't nobody say nothing to you at all about nothing. Because if they do say something about you, say, if they do say something about you or respond to you after you said something about them first, oh, you're being unfairly attacked. He doesn't even know me, you know, but I don't care. You know, he's just a little boy. Well, you must be really a little boy because everything Kwame did in response to you, you had already did it, which was worse. He didn't compare you to some psycho, some killer. Nigga, you fruit booty, fanny pack wearing, cupcake, doughboy looking ass motherfucker. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You are the most stupidest doctor I've ever seen in my life. For you to open your mouth and play this victim role as if you innocent, you could do no wrong. And then when your subscribers and the people that subscribe to you, your fans started telling you you wrong, you a hater, all of a sudden they're stupid. Tommy Brown is right, man. It is a go along, get along gang out here. And anybody that has beef or a problem with anyone that's a part of this go along, get along gang community, all these other people that's part of go along, get along gang come out of the woodworks and they tag team to try to attack this certain individual. And we've seen it. Everybody has been trying to attack Kwame Brown ever since he has been responding not attacking, responding to the people that attack him. Dr. Moist Watkins, I see why you got married. I think you're trying to cover up what you really are. Yeah. I think you really are low-key in the closet, buddy. You suspect. But getting a wife can help people not look at you in that way. You're like, oh no, she has, she has a wife. You know, she has a beautiful wife. No, no, she's he's good. He's not gay. I don't have nothing against gay, dog, but you real, real suspect, bro. You act worse than some females. The thing is, you like to, you, you over opinionated like a female. P women like to run, speak what's in their mind all the time. They very, very open with how they feel about certain people. 
instead of just most of the time to keep it to themselves or keeping it within their own home, the fact that you have to guard your way to talk about people on a bigger platform shows how envious and jealous you are of certain people like Kwame Brown. Because let's be real, you just start running your mouth about Kwame Brown until all of a sudden he was breaking the internet. After responding to people that was hating on him, where he tried to respectfully come at them and say, look, man, don't do that. Don't disrespect me in that way. And then when they try to take it to a different level, he said, all right, let's, let's, let's crack jokes then. Let's do it. But all of a sudden, everybody want to act like they're the victims once Kwame Brown cooked their ass up. Dr. Moist Watkins, learn to shut your mouth. Keep Kwame Brown's name out of your mouth because you look more and more dumb. We're gonna change. We're gonna. We're gonna. That doctorate in front of your name, that DR is gonna stand for deranged retard. You are a deranged retard, bro. Yeah, Dr. Watkins. Yeah, deranged retard Watkins. Because you, something wrong with you. You got a whole wife. You, you're a newly married man, and ever since you got married, you've been the only person that's been coming out of your mouth, the only name that's been coming out of your mouth is Kwame Brown. You, you, do you say anything about your wife, your lovely wife? Who we all know is going to leave you eventually because you don't know a good thing when you have it. I mean, it's bad enough you already had the scent to get her. We all know the story that she didn't want you back in the day. Now, all of a sudden that you're a doctor and you got money, she's uh finally giving into your ass. Nigga, please. She goes, she, she playing. She playing right along with your shit. She's like, oh, okay, come on. We good. She's going to wait for your ass to really fuck up. And she's going to take everything you got. And then you really gonna be yo who who I really think you are, Doctor Moist Watkins, fruity ass nigga. Talking about you know I gotta rent this this little marathon, you know I just uh, I'm talking being fat. I wanna be fat. I wanna get fat. Man, shut your bitch made ass up. Who told you that? Who told you about being fat? Your wife. Since when you start being so insecure about your weight, why like you can't be proud of just being a chunky dude? Or you can't be proud of being a chunky, fat neck dude with a big old marble water head, nigga. Be proud of who you are. Stop feeding off the emotions of women. Stop trying to feed off the emotions of your subscribers, dog. You're embarrassing yourself to the world when you do this shit. You opened your mouth about Kwame Brown first. So don't play victim now that Kwame Brown it's cooking your ass up. If you can't dish it, I mean, if you can't take it, don't dish it. Don't dish what you can't take. It's simple. But you people in these in these high places with these big platforms think y'all can say whatever the hell y'all want to say about somebody and can't nobody say nothing about you. Because when they do say something about you, all of a sudden it's like, well, I mean, I, I don't even know the man. I, I, he, he unfairly attacked me and... and Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You're the only one that was saying something about Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown responded, and he showed proof that you was running your mouth about him. But then when he started running his mouth about you, and he started exposing your weird fruit booty ass, all of a sudden, you're the victim, huh? Okay. But get your bitch-made victim ass up out of here, because don't nobody care about you. Stop trying to protect the go-along, get-along gang. You shouldn't have came for him in the first place. That's, the, that's what happens when you run your mouth about people you do not know. Just shut the fuck up. Mind your business. Focus on your wife. Stop focusing on other men, you weirdo. You a married man. And all this time you was with your newly, your new bride, you've been running your mouth about Kwame Brown. Do you have a secret obsession with Kwame Brown? Do you, you, you have a, like a little thing for Kwame Brown or something? There's something about that because, damn, you couldn't help but to, to keep running your mouth about Kwame Brown while you was honeymooning with your wife. Or maybe you, your ego is so fragile that every time Kwame Brown was exposing your ass in the aftermath of you trying to expose him, <laughs> you, you just couldn't help yourself. You had to keep, oh, I got to make another video. This guy, no, this guy's not going to do this to me. I have too much at stake.
Just tighten up your fanny pack, buddy. Focus on your life and your wife. Focus on your life and your wife. Leave Kwame Brown alone and leave good men alone that's trying to do something to help the communities. Bring some positivity. Kwame Brown is right. Boys are reading at a third to fourth grade reading level. That's not no bullshit. This is a real reality. This is a fact. There's a lot of black boys out here that are delinquent. And you, Mr. Moist Watkins, I don't see you doing nothing to help elevate black, young black men who are delinquent. All you're doing is shitting on them and saying, oh, you're, they're dumb, you're dumb, you're dumb. You're just stupid and ignorant. You're a doctor. Aren't you supposed to be trying to help using your, your position to try to get in these communities and help the ones that are delinquent? Why does it take someone like Kwame Brown, a former NBA player, to try to bring some awareness to the help that the young black men need? You weren't doing none of that shit. But I guess because he was the one that said it first, all of a sudden you want to try to create this narrative and try to make it seem like Kwame Brown is crazy and he's coming, he's just doing this shit to get something out of people or on an agenda. You're a loser, dog. You're jealous. I'm so sick of you envious, jealous ass people who already have money, who are already established. It's so sad and it's so pathetic that y'all will stoop that low to try to tear down a black man who is actually risking his life, risking his life just to try to help and bring some truth. See, you, you're just trying to be proper and, and, and say what everybody want to hear. But Kwame Brown is saying what everybody needs to hear. So don't get mad because he's doing it. You dumb clown. Mr. Deranged, retarded Watkins. Sheesh. You're not a doctor, dog. Your doctor, your DR stands for deranged, retarded Boyce Watkins. And when your wife leave you, don't start attacking women in the aftermath of that. Because <laughs> you're attacking black men. So don't start attacking black women after your wife leave you, dog. Just pick, pick, pick your big boy panties, panties on. Tighten up your fanny pack. And move on with your life, dog. Maybe you just keep, won't you really just keep aligning yourself with these whiteies because you just are, oh, that's what you want to do. You you the type of dude that want to, you just want to be the, at the top of the black community. You, you're not for the black community. You just want to be the top dog in the black community as a representative. But you're not a good representative at all because you're fake. All you care about is likes and views and, and your subscribers. And people joining you. But it's supposed to be unity. Everybody's supposed to be in together. You're already proved, you've already proved to everybody that you're not a part of the unity of black people. All you care about is elevating yourself. You being at the top. That's why weird, lame ass people like Hassan Campbell's and Tammy Sauermayor always like to run him up and say, Well, I've already been saying this. I've been saying this already. So Kwame saying this, he, he, he's just saying what I've been saying all this time. Y'all niggas is childish. Everybody's been saying this shit. Just because he's saying it on a big platform don't mean he was the first one to say it. Or just because you feel like you was the first one to say it on your big platform don't mean that it hasn't been said before. I'm not, I don't have nowhere near a platform that any of y'all have. But I've been saying all the same shit y'all been saying too. But I'm not going to go on the internet saying, I said it first, me, I did that. Y'all some retarded, bitch-made motherfuckers out here, man. Jesus Christ. I did not know the jealousy amongst rich black men was that bad. Y'all really that damn jealous of Kwame Brown? Because he's helping the people. Because he's not trying to, oh, that's what it is. Y'all niggas already been trained to not give back to the black community when you're at that level. But Kwame is doing that. He allowed people to use his platform, make money, and do whatever they got to do to feed their family and their kids. Y'all don't like that. So y'all got to try to do whatever y'all can to get people and draw people away from him. So y'all can try to get him off the internet, especially YouTube, so he can't feed more families like he's doing right now. Because this came out of nowhere. Nobody expected this shit. This is why y'all mad. Y'all white zaddy put pressure on y'all to get him up out of here. But 
we the people are not going to let it happen. And we the people see you. We see all you clowns out there trying to protect them. Go along, get along, gang. Keep exposing yourself. We're going to keep enjoying the show.